Welcome to Gem Car Central here. Uh, today's project is going to be the installation of an NEV accessories disc brake conversion on Harold's 1999, yes, this is an early car, uh, Gem E825. Um, I wasn't planning on doing an install, but this car is just so clean and the, the brake kit's been painted and it's just, I would be doing us a disservice by not documenting said thing. Like like I said, this is an early car, so there's some kind of really unique, weird things about it. Like, look at this rear fender. I mean, this is an early, early car. And uh, yeah, it's just really cool. Very, very clean and uh, well, well kept. So here we go. Here's our brake kit. And I will first start off by saying everything in here has been painted. So don't expect it to show up to your house looking like this. You're gonna get raw metal calipers here. Um, you're gonna get raw aluminum um, hubs. But what we have here is, um, these are your calipers, and then it's, I guess you call these the pad holders. They need to be greased and, and installed and put on here, and as well as the disc brake pads right here. And uh, these are your clips that actually hold the pads onto these pieces right here. Uh, it comes with the two rotors, and, um, they're really nice and it comes with new brake lines and uh, these brake line adapters that adapt your stock uh, hard lines to these new uh, rubber lines. Um, these are the bow ties or this is kind of like the magic in the kit. And this is what adapts the spindles, your stock gem, to these new um, uh, disc brakes. So anyone that uh, is dare thinking of copying the beloved NEV accessory kit, how dare you? But this is what you would need to do and the tolerances and uh is a trade secret so good luck on that um i would recommend just buying this kit because it's so convenient it comes with everything you're going to need this is all the hardware and um a list of parts there is no instructions so that's what i'm going to attempt to uh help us out so we'll we'll take these wheels off here put it on jacks and okay, we'll we get back the wheels off and the first thing's going to do is we're going to take this uh hub nut off which is a 15 16 and then you have 13 millimeters on the back. There's four that hold uh, this whole assembly on. And uh, we'll take back at it. We got the stock drum brakes removed. And then we have the uh, NEV accessories hardware kit. And I just wanted to go over a couple things before we start here. Is the hub orientates the way it does, which is this way, which is kind of like long ways. It's tall this way. So it goes long ways like this. And that coincides with this bow tie. So it only, it only work one way. If you go this way, you'll notice it lines up and if you go this way you'll notice it doesn't so when we're at this we're going to use the longer bolts at the front and that's what these are right here the longer bolts go in the front and the shorter bolts go in the rear so um i will uh, i'll bolt this up and i'll explain it a little bit better in a second okay we got the hub on and everything's loose so that i can show you what's going on here we used some uh some molly graph grease on the um the spline there to the hub because this thing does move in and out and you want some uh, grease on there and then uh, this should make it more obvious is the short ones going on the back because they just have to go through the hub but the longer ones actually need to go through the hub and the bow tie so lots of blue copious loctite on all these braking parts here and we'll be back uh, when I install the caliper okay and those we got the calipers and the brake pads installed I have to admit it was a little tricky these clips gave me a little bit of uh i didn't uh i didn't see how they were installed with the uh, brake pads because the calipers came painted and disassembled so um a quick phone call to any of the accessories and a few pictures later we're in business so on to the lines and uh we'll be back